hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing a get ready with me with this look right here and a life update so if you guys want to see what i've been up to just keep on watching okay you guys so i am going to be doing a get ready with me slash life update um i know it's been like three months since i posted a video it is not because i don't want to it's just there's been a lot of stuff going on and I didn't want to do a video and not pull my, not pull, not put my all into it. So yeah. So I already did my eyebrows off camera because I don't know why lately I've been having a hard time doing my eyebrows. So now I'm just going to prime my face. So the primer I'm going to be using is the Pour Professional. No, not Professional, Pour Professional. Pour Primer. And yeah, so... You don't need a whole lot of this, just like a little bit. I say that while I put a whole bunch on my face. Um, I'm gonna use this little mirror. And then excuse my nose, you guys. It was super dry, so that's why it's kind of red. Um, I can't remember why. I think my nose was like super runny, I don't know. But yeah, um, so the last time I talked to you guys, I was um, living at my mom's. So I don't know if you could tell, the background looks a little different. I mean, it'll always, I think it always looks different. Well, me and Avery finally moved out. Um, didn't get a house yet. That's still, you know, we're still trying to get a house. It's just kind of hard right now, especially with, with like COVID and other shit going on is just crazy but we did move out we did get an apartment it is pretty nice i like it um avery chose it he's the one who picked it out i had no idea how the place looked like so i like trusted him and i actually like it so maybe i could give you guys like a little tour <clears throat> oh dear jesus maybe i could give you guys a little tour once we get like our furniture in and stuff, cause we still are waiting on our couch. We're waiting on our kitchen table. So yeah, right now I'm cleaning up my, cleaning up, applying some concealer. This is kind of really light on me, but I need it cause I got bags under my eyes. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my sponge. I did with my sponge before this, you guys. And then I'm going to do like a basic, basic ass eye look because I am going to be doing like a dark lipstick. And I, I don't know why with when I do dark lipstick, I feel like I need to do like a just like a neutral eyelid color look. Does that make sense? See, my nose fucking itches. Sorry. So yeah, oh, I got some freaking primer in my hair. So life update. Well, I just told you guys I moved out. So that's a new update. Um, What else? I'm gonna be just using this color right here on my eyelid. I have been working from home. Oh shit. I have been working from home since March and now it's June. So wait, has it been since March? Damn, I've been working from home for a long ass time now. Been working from home, which I am thankful I could work from home. I know a lot of people got furloughed. A lot of people like lost their jobs. So I am like blessed to have my job. Um, Working from home, I always wanted to work from home. Always wanted to work from home. But like when this COVID shit happened and things were, you know, getting, you know, locked down, I guess, locked down. Stores got closed, you know. I don't know. I don't know if I really enjoy working from home only because everything else is closed. Like the only thing that's open is like grocery stores, like essential stuff, which I understand and 
it's good that they did that but I think that's the only thing that makes it hard for me to work from home because after here like I can't really go anywhere unless I need groceries I mean I could go for a walk but sorry I keep scratching my nose but yeah that's another reason why I haven't got on here because everything with COVID and stuff I just thought it was like super negative to like talk about and I didn't want to like bring that negativity on my YouTube but yeah okay so I just blended it out but yeah you guys so working from home it's okay um I just kind of wished don't get me wrong I have my days where I'm like oh like thank god I work from home because I just want to be in my PJs all day I just want to you know not go anywhere but then I have those days where I'm like I want to get up, get ready, and go to work, and then come back home and have this as just, like, my place to, like, relax, and, you know, and it's hard because I work from home, so I have my work stress here at home, so that's the only thing, but once we get our couches, I'll be able to, like, go out in the living room, watch a movie, something, but right now, I'm still stuck, like, in the room. Um, the eyeliner I'm going to be using is the NYX Epic Link Liner. And I'm going to do a wing. Okay, sorry. I can't talk and do my eyeliner at the same time or else I'll take forever. But are they even? I feel like this one's... <sighs> okay. I'm going to just leave it like that for now. I'm not going to try to mess it up even more. Okay, mascara, I'm going to be using my Tarte. The logo, like, kind of, like, just disappeared. But this is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. This is my favorite mascara. I really love this one. So I'm thinking about buying it again after this one runs out. So the move-in process to our apartment was a super fast process. Um, we honestly like planned it on a Monday and we're, we were moved out by Friday. So I don't know, one day Avery, I was laying down watching TikToks and then Avery was like, should we just move out? And I was like, I mean, I want to, like I want to get our own place. He was like, let's just do it. Like, let's start looking at apartments. I'm like, okay. So I started looking. We went to go look for a couple. We found one that we kind of like, but it was super far. Like, it took us 30 minutes. Well, plus 30 minutes. So, I don't know how long that was. It took us, like, 30 minutes to get there. Like, and we, where we used to live, we live, like, close to our job. So, from my mom's house, it was 30 minutes. So, I can only imagine from work. It would have been a little bit longer. So, we are like, mm, I don't think this would be the right place just because it's super far. So we ended up not going to that one. Um, yeah, so we looked at two other ones, but they were too far. And I didn't, we didn't really think that would be good, like, because Avery would have to drive a long way to get to work. I don't know, I think we would just rather live closer to work And I do live closer to my mom still. Like, if I would have moved over there, I would have, it would have took me a while to get to my mom's. And luckily we did move close because honestly, so we got the house or the house, oh my God. We got the apartment on a Friday. So I was still working when he was like, oh, okay, like come over and pick up the keys. Like you guys can start moving in today. So that day I had to clock out a little bit early just to pick up the keys and just drop some stuff off. So we dropped a couple of stuff off and um, I did some shopping that day just to get like the stuff we need like to clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen. And then on Saturday morning, so Friday night I fell asleep like around 12. I did not get enough sleep you guys. Like I literally got like three hours of sleep and I was up from 7.50 to like 
12. Woke up. I went to sleep and then woke up three hours later. I could not go to sleep. So I was laying there in bed like, fuck, like, I can't go to sleep. I was laying there till like five something in the morning. I think it was like five in the morning. And I was like, you know what? Like, instead of me just laying here trying to go back to sleep, I'm just going to get up and start unboxing shit. So I drove to the apartment. No, first I went to McDonald's because I was like, okay, I need to get me some like something to snack on um, for later because I know I'm not going to want to leave the apartment to get some food and then come back. So I was like, let me just get the stuff right now. So I got me like a, oh, I got me a coffee and a sausage McMuffin. Got to the apartment, started unpacking stuff, which I'm glad I did because we had a lot of shit. A lot of shit just everywhere, just thrown in here because it was all last minute. So we were just trying to get everything in here. So it was everything was on the floor randomly. I had a whole bunch of shoes in the room, a whole bunch of clothes just on the floor, a whole bunch of boxes in the living room. It was a fucking mess. So I just started kind of with the room, uh, putting the clothes up, then putting the shoes up. And then, what else did I do? Yeah, it was just unboxing. I was trying to attempt to do like a YouTube video, but I'm glad I didn't because I wasn't fully there. Like the whole video, I was freaking tired. I like I had bags under my eyes and I kept getting like anxiety. So I was like, I'm not posting that video. Like I said, I don't really want like a negative video up. So. I think we have already a lot of negative stuff going on that a negative video I don't think would be right. But yeah, I was unpacking everything and later on that day, what happened? I went to my mom's because we still had to bring our dresser, the bed. We do have a purple bed. If you guys don't know, look it up. The purple bed is not like a regular mattress. This shit's heavy as fuck. We got the purple four I believe it's heavy as fuck it's like a jelly bed like I can't explain it to you you guys need to look it up though it's the purple four it's fucking heavy it it was me Avery my brother my brother-in-law and my sister trying to move that shit from my mom's to our new apartment and it was heavy as fuck like we literally had to roll our bed like when it came it came rolled so we had to try to roll it back up which was so hard. I had to like sit on the bed, like on the bed as we we're trying to like roll it. But yeah, it was heavy as fuck. Oh my God. Like when we move out of here, we better be moving to a house and we're gonna hire movers cause I cannot move that bed. Um, The dresser was easier than the bed. What else? And then we have a TV. So that was the only thing that was missing. So we did that. And once everything was here at the apartment, me and Avery went to Walmart to get a couple more things we needed. And then when we got home, oh, we got food. And then when we got home, I don't know what was wrong with me. I did not feel good. I had anxiety. I My stomach was hurting. I was feeling like homesick, I think. And I was like, fuck, like, this is our apartment. Like, there's no turning back. We moved the fuck out. Like, I think it was just a short process. I don't know what was going through my head. But we came from Walmart, and then I went to the bathroom, and I just wanted to cry. And I'm like, Jessica, get it together. Get it together. You're fine. Like, you are you know, you just need to get some sleep. But I wanted to help Avery, too, like, unpack because we still had stuff to unpack. I get out the bathroom, I look at Avery and I'm like, I don't feel good, I don't know what's wrong with me. I start crying and he was like, you're just homesick. And I'm like, I don't know. Like my mom literally lives like maybe 10 minutes away with traffic, maybe 10 minutes away. So he was just like, just go to your mom's. You probably just miss your mom. I had to call my mom to try to have her calm me down. She was like, it's okay, like you're fine. Um, and I was like, I just miss you guys. And it's just hard, especially right now, being away from my family. Not, I'm not super far away. I'm not in a different state. But the fact that I'm not un in her roof, like, making sure everybody's okay. Like, knowing what's going on, especially now. Like, it's just hard to just leave. 
when these are the times like you should be with your family um you know making sure they're fine making sure you're fine it's just hard but yeah i ended up going to my mom's avery like told me to leave he was like i don't want you get having a panic attack and then i have to take you to the hospital we don't want that shit, especially now with covid like i'm pretty sure if i go like if i would have went to the er avery would not be there with me and i would have panicked even more like you know <sighs> the foundation i'm using is the nyx can't stop won't stop uh, foundation soft beige you have to shake this one before using like it's a have to but yeah um avery told me to leave why isn't it coming out what the hell i haven't used this in a while maybe that's why okay there we go but yeah Avery told me to go to your mom's, just go hang out with them for a little. I'll unpack, don't worry. I'll unpack the rest. And I felt bad because I was like, no, like, I want to help you. Like, that's not fair that I'm going to leave and you're stuck here with all this mess. And he's like, no, like, you did enough this morning. Just go for a little bit. Go for a couple hours. If you need to stay over there, like, stay the night over there, you can. Like, it's okay. Just let me know. And I'm like, okay. So I drove myself to my mom's. I get there and my mom, she was like already laying in bed. Cause I think it was like around 10, no, or nine. I don't remember what time it was actually. I just started crying. I'm like, I miss you guys. Like, I don't know if I could do this. My dad was hugging me. My mom was hugging me. I don't know. I, I just, I don't know what was wrong with me. But I took my like anxiety medication because I do have anxiety um, medications. Medications. I have one that I take every day. And then I have one that I take like for emergencies. Like if I'm having like an, an attack, I'll just take it. And that's the one I took when I got there. You're not supposed to drive with, the, um, you're not supposed to drive when you take it. That's why I waited till I got there and took it. So I was there, I was, um, laying with my mom and dad just talking they were telling me to go to sleep and I'm like no like I really can't go to sleep because I can't go to sleep without Avery I can't like I I can't if Avery's not there I can't go to sleep so I was like no I'm fine I'll be fine um the concealer I'm gonna be using is the Tres Thick I don't know if that's what it's called but this is in the color be scared. I think I don't know um maybe I'm just assuming but it comes like this it's so cute it's like a magnet it looks like you know you know what I mean you don't know what I mean okay so I'm gonna do this in my under eye so this one isn't as light like I do need like a little bit lighter but I'm gonna use this and um the elf concealer for my face but yeah, um, so I was there talking to them. My mom's like, you're fine. Like, if you need to stay the night, just stay the night. And I was like, thank you, mom. I'll be fine. Like, I just, I think I just needed a break from the apartment. I just needed a freaking break. Woo! It was a lot. I think it was just a lot. Like, everything last minute. Now I'm going in with my Smashbox concealer, you guys. And I'm just going over the areas just because I feel like I need to, just because I feel like it needs to be a little bit lighter. And then I'm gonna go in and blend this out. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys the eyelashes are from Bold Face. I just can't remember which ones these are. Um but yeah, I think I just needed a break. I got myself together. Once I was feeling better, I left. Um, I, of course, I made sure I was okay to drive. Um, I left, got to the apartment. Avery was like, are you okay? Like, do you feel better? And I'm like, 
yes i wasn't crying no more but i was like yes i think i just i'm i think i'm just tired i just need to go to sleep like can we just do this tomorrow can we just finish tomorrow i was like just go to sleep i'll take care of it so i made myself a tea i took like a melatonin to go to sleep and i just fell asleep i think that's all i needed because the next day i felt a little bit better i did miss home a little bit like it felt kind of weird just because everything was still not unpacked you know it didn't feel like home yet so the next day woke up i think i went to my mom's um to get a couple more stuff oh wait I'm trying to think. I think I went to my mom's. Yeah, I felt a little better. I was like, I just I think I needed to go to sleep. Like, I didn't sleep all day, so maybe that's why. <sighs> Shit was crazy, you guys. Shit was crazy. I was losing my fucking mind. I was like, fuck. <laughs> but, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's times where I'm like, fuck, like, I wish I was over there. Like, working from home yes i don't really have distractions but i do miss like the company of my brothers my sister and my mom so that's one thing i do miss but it'll be fine i could whenever i want to go over there i'll just go over there i don't know maybe i just feel like it was time for me and avery to kind of like move out just because like there was just, I don't know, we didn't have enough space. I mean, I'm thankful my parents let us, you know, move back in when we were struggling and, you know, but now I feel like we're back on our feet and I think it was just better for us to move out. Not because, you know, they did anything. I just feel like it was time for me and Avery to kind of like move out and now that we're more stable just you know do what we gotta do but i still go over there a lot sorry i'm trying to bronze my face the bronzer and um setting powder i use is the wet and wild um dulce de leche this is my favorite one and i like this one because it's super cheap so if i run out of this one i won't be as sad because i could go ahead and buy it i'll be using this like goldish one i like using this one as a highlight but yeah you guys that's what happened when I moved out. I I don't know. Like, uh, we did love... I can't talk. We did live on our own a while ago. And I, I didn't feel like this. I don't know why this happened. Yeah, I just, like, literally felt not okay. I did not feel okay. And I'm glad that Avery was like, you know what? You just need to go home. Like, you need to go to your mom's. And I was like, okay. The blush I'm going to be using is the Seattle London. This one's in the color Dusk. This one's super pretty. But yeah. Oh. I mean, it feels more like home. But... We are still waiting on the couch and stuff. For lipstick, I'm going to be using my Live Glam Ferrari and then my Doe's Nude Mood. So I'm going to do this one first on the outer. I'm kind of hungry. Do my lips look weird? I feel they look a little weird. And then I didn't put so much right here. Sorry. So, so much right here because I'm gonna put this nude one. And they're both matte, so in a little it's gonna matte up and look pretty. I just feel like my lips look a little weird right now. 
Oh well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna be here. <laughs> I feel like this one always goes more up than this one. Can you guys tell? Oh my gosh. A little bit. I need lip fillers. I need lip fillers. Oh, this is cute. But yeah, see what I mean? Basic eye makeup, but bold lipstick. So yeah, you guys. That was what happened when we moved out. Now I'm doing better. I think it's been like three weeks now that since we moved in. Wait, am I tripping? Let me see. Maybe I'm tripping. I honestly don't know when we moved out, but yeah. It is a nice area. It is pretty quiet. Um, I did meet my neighbor. She's super nice. Um, super nice. So she lives next to me, my nice neighbor. And then her parents live below me, which is a bonus because if, you know, they have any issues, they could come talk to me. So yeah, they're really cool people. Um, so that's what made me a little bit more comfortable too, just knowing I have, you know, good vibes around. So yeah. I think that's it but yeah i'm just ready for this covid shit to be over i mean even though they said that we're gonna hit another peak don't know when i don't know but i just want everything to go back to normal i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one who wants everything to go back to normal thank you guys for watching my video please subscribe if you guys want to see a different video cooking videos i'm gonna be doing cooking videos soon um but any other videos just let me know and i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed my little story <laughs> and yeah thank you guys for watching peace